That's, that's where it's hard. It's very, very hard. So I, I, some of the, okay, what I've noticed with some of the like high value, high earning men that I've dated, um, they have money. So they like, they work hard. Some of them are doctors, lawyers, engineers. I pretty much stick, stick to those three. Um, and like other stuff too. But like, so when I would date like this doctor or whatever, he would have, you know, the money. He works really hard. He's accomplished. He had to go to school for like 10 years to be a doctor. So yeah. clearly he knows what he's doing. But the emotional intelligence kind of really lacked with him. And I think it might just be because, you know, he he may not have to have put that much effort into his emotional intelligence because he was hot and he had money. And like nobody really questioned his his uh, ability to be emotionally there because there were just so he had so many options there were so many women after him they're like yeah like whatever we'll take your bad attitude and like you not understanding like my needs and whatever but like obviously i'm not like that i'm like a woman with an opinion and yeah. that's not always popular but like that's who i am hey it's gabby faye I also like <laughs> have opinions it's yeah. hard out here with opinions right when you have an opinion and then they just want to like you know, dismiss, not everybody, but like some men would just like dismiss me um, for having an opinion. I have family members who are like not happy about, uh, you know, my TikToks and like the, the things that I'm saying because they don't appreciate a woman with an opinion. They feel like men can have the opinions, but a woman, eh, you know, they want to be dismissive. And I just feel like, you know, God gave us a brain. Women can talk. Women have opinions. Like we can do this too, you know? So I just think that's really interesting. But I feel like for me, I'm very about emotional intelligence because I, I double major in like I double majored in pre-law and um, psychology. Oh, wow. I know. I, Good so for I was, you. I know. I was supposed to go to law school the day of my graduation. I told my parents that I was going to like move to LA to be a starving artist. So I did that instead. And here I am. <laughs> so like it's working out obviously, but like, um, so like my psychology studies, um, I'm really passionate about uh, people and like about their emotions and their emotional development. So like when I think about the guys that I date, <laughs> I noticed that they sometimes very struggle with it. Like the, sometimes they just struggle with emotional intelligence uh, and I, I'm more patient, I guess, because I understand like what they're where they're coming from. So I think that's why uh, they really like enjoy our conversation sometimes and enjoy me as a person because I can relate to them. But, you know, sometimes I don't want to be your mother. Sometimes yeah. I don't want to do all of that extra stuff. Like depends on what they're putting into me as well. So I feel like I just don't want to get drained. So if I'm feeling drained, uh, then I probably wouldn't be OK with that, I guess. But yeah. Yeah, I kind of feel like in my last more serious relationship, I was kind of on the flip side of things where he was kind of more of like a dad or a father to me because he was older than me. He was 35. I was 25. So 10 year age difference. Wow. So he taught me a lot. Honestly, that relationship was pretty. It was like obviously like financially helpful because he was kind of like helping me out in a lot of ways yeah. but then also kind of gave me some motivation to want to be like businesswoman ceo so hey. i started my own business after the breakup wow that's amazing and i just kind of stumbled into it but it's going really well it's been like two months what's your business my business i have a few different online businesses okay. but i mainly help with um influencers getting brand deals and negotiating the brand deals okay and i started off with just like one client and i now have like 25 that's in amazing. two months i know it's very see, busy <laughs> you see like the difference between like dating a man who can help you in that way and like boost you up so even if you guys aren't together anymore you're not at a loss like you 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 were able to um, you know, get to another level in your own life and your own career and like what you're pursuing. Yeah. By I being mean, with someone who like could do that for you. Definitely. Like if you find a guy who you really get along with and he happens to have money, he happens to have a career and his life together, which is great, then really take try to learn from them, honestly, yeah. and try to figure out how they got there. You don't have to do everything step by step, but ask questions, learn. Like, it's really a good opportunity for you. He helped me buy a car. He helped me buy a laptop. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that I would have loved a laptop back in my like, college where I'm like, oh my gosh, I really need to get these like videos and this content up. But this actually brings me to my next point. Okay. Stop 
dating broke boys who have no ambition, who are not working hard, who are not going anywhere. I mean, and then my term broke boys, I call them the broke boys club on my TikTok because I'm not just talking about money. I'm talking about they're mentally broke. They're emotionally broke. <laughs> like they, their whole mindset, they're so stuck in their bitterness for women because of whatever yeah. woman hurt them in the past that it's keeping them mentally blocked from moving forward in, in their own goals and their own life. So when I say the broke boys club or broke boys, I'm talking about not just money, money too, like, but I'm talking about ambition, having lack thereof, um, talking about just being so bitter and angry at women that you can't allow yourself to like fully love and embrace uh, a relationship with a woman. That's like what I'm talking about when I say broke boys. And another viral video that I did, it was talking about broke boys and how like you should avoid them because they stress you out. I wasn't... Uh, contrary to popular belief, I wasn't always dating uh, high value, high earning men. I dated some very broke bums. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like, and I, back then I used to think, oh, I have this like love feeling, this fluffy feeling in my, in my heart. It must be love. And I, I must like, you know, this is real. So I have to like sacrifice myself to make sure that he's okay and that he's doing well when and literally he was just like using me as a doormat, you know? And so like one of like, so I would, I would say stuff like, um, you know, like if you, these are the signs and like, I was basically giving you examples of like what I've experienced. So like, sometimes I'll like go, um, date a guy who is a grown up like me mm -hmm. and I will go into his room and he doesn't even have proper, like living quarters like he has a mattress on the floor with like one stained pillow and he wants me to like come over and hang out i'm just like where am i gonna sit where am i gonna do there's not even a pillow for me i'm literally on the floor and i'm like breathing in all the dust in here it's, it feels like a not college the dust <laughs> not the feels dust like a college dorm in here i'm like dude we are not in college yeah. anymore get your life together you know what i mean like i'm not saying you have to have like all of these things but like yeah to date me you have to show me that you're mature enough and that is like some college boy vibe and I'm not in college anymore. So I just don't like that. And then also my pet peeve is when we're going to a restaurant, the restaurant is like already nice. Like you already tell like he, he, this, he's, this is a comfortable range of spending for him. Like this is a nice restaurant, but they just happen to like have like a dollar and 50 upcharge, like a dollar upcharge for like extra cheese or whatever. And he's making such a big stink about the dollar extra like upcharge when the whole meal already is like expensive. So you're worried about that. So like that kind of thing. It's just like, it really irks me. And it just shows me like how broke you are. And just, we're not cat compatible. Like we're not going to like one time I went out with this guy we went out for dumplings, which I've never, <laughs> <laughs> I've never had before. Love dumplings. The dumplings. And like, <laughs> this was like one of my, my broker dates, but like, <laughs> on my broker days oh i'm sorry but like i'm sorry for watching this you know who you are so he took me out for dumplings it was like tuesday two dollar dumplings something like that in the lower east side manhattan so i didn't know it was two dollar dumplings i just thought that he was just taking me out on a nice date i was like okay two dollars i guess if you get a deal and it's good so he gets like four dumplings two of them came back like burnt on the side he spent the next 45 minutes arguing with the chinese lady to get those two dumplings <laughs> returned and refunded so that he can get new two more dumplings and i'm just like the whole date was spent with you arguing about two dollars for two dollar dumpling day like you're a loser it's too, that's too much it's like if you're gonna spend your time arguing with the wait staff instead of talking to me on the date <laughs> priorities literally and that's get what i mean by check. like mentally broke like he he didn't realize that he was missing time with a queen trying to build a relationship with a queen because you're worried about two dollar dumpling day and the chinese lady not giving you the two dollars back for the two burnt dumplings i'm like bro like this is not the time do that with your homeboys not with a lady you asked out on a date like it, it gives really bad vibes really yeah. bad energy i really don't like when and I'm sure most people don't like when they're on a date with someone and they're mean to the wait staff or they're rude oh. in general. Yeah, no, because that'll be you next. Mm -mm. <laughs> right. Once they get sick of you or get rid of you, that'll be you next. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that is a thing, though, with guys who have money and you, you know when you're dating them mm. that's something to look out for yeah. are they kind to people who can't benefit them right right oh my gosh that my dad used to tell me that all the time like if if that's what my, my like older people would say like how does he treat his mother like you know what's his relationship like i literally dated a guy like a few like last year 
who told me that he hated his mother and it wasn't like for any like like you know they just didn't get along they didn't have a good relationship but like just the fact that he was so adamant about hating his mother and he had so much hate for her i'm just like baby you need to heal before you go into any relationship with a woman because if you feel that strongly about your mother and she's known you your whole life like i don't know i'm, I'm like scared of those situations like yeah. you know what i mean like you'd have to like she would have to like done something like killed somebody for like you know what i mean like i don't know i don't know where where that would be an okay thing but like you could just tell that he hadn't gotten over it so yeah. i'm like i don't know if this is the right time to be in a relationship because you're scaring me <laughs> yeah i mean i've dated people who are like attached at the hip to their mother and then i've also dated people who are very avoidant of their mother oh. so there's a wide spectrum there i i would hope to find someone who's got some sort of secure attachment with their mother as well that would be helpful <laughs> Yeah, so I I agree. The the mother, the mama's boy, they like and it, I'm such a mother type of woman. Like I, I don't know, I can't help it. Like since I was younger, like my friend group, I'm like the mom of the group and like I'm always making sure everybody's like well fed and like safely driven to point A to point B. Like and so I I'm I'm kind of like that with my partners sometimes but to an extent and I remember this one um like teacher counselor told me like you know Gabby if you're a woman who gives like mom motherly vibes and you need to get a guy who gives like daddy vibes like fatherly vibes you know because like that then you can have that give and take and you won't be just like drained every time so I definitely look for that as well so we are coming to a close I think this is a really good talk I'm like so excited about uh this podcast and if you haven't already please um subscribe follow us uh Shannon do you want to say your at and sure <laughs> so you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at hello fashion foodie and i think youtube as well yummy i love that <laughs> and you guys know you follow me on tiktok it's gabby Faye or instagram i am gabby Faye. my stuff will be linked but um i thank you so much for coming and last thoughts before we go is there anything that you wanted to say that we forgot about uh thank you so much for having me and Keep your standards up, ladies. Yes! I, and and anyone yes! who's dating in general, <laughs> uh, keep your standards high for yourself and the people you're dating. And it's okay to be single and it's okay to prioritize yourself in relationships as well. Yeah, for sure. I I I want to talk I wanted to talk about that because I wanted to let you all know like the women who I've inspired with my content, the women who feel uh, that they you know, need to raise their standards or even like reevaluate uh, what they're accepting from these men and from dates. You are worthy. You're worthy of high standards. You know, don't be feeling guilty because you're wanting a little more. It's okay because you see two women who are getting more because we're we're saying that that's what we want like we're we're saying what we want okay know? i do have one more thing just real quick okay so the people who comment and want us to lower our standards um i want you to ask yourself why is it so that we'll date people like you yup that's a good point why are you why are you trying to bring us down yeah exactly like why are you trying to humble us i've been humble for 24 years exactly. this is my last my last two years i wasn't humble anymore and it's gotten me a car a laptop a new phone a house <laughs> ah, breach. so keep your standards high exactly don't listen to people who want to make you feel lower exactly you get what you accept i've i've always known that like it doesn't matter what you look like or what you think society tells you that you deserve because of how you look or whatever your status is, you get what you accept. So do, stop accepting all of those things and start accepting good things and positive things and, and what you're looking for because you decide what you do with your life and, and who you get into a relationship with. That's your decision. So thank you so much for coming and listening to the Gabby Faye podcast. Yay. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.